Praise the Lord. So I want to show you the ministry of the Holy Spirit to believers. Then from here we're going to run. Number one is that the Holy Spirit have the ministry of revelation. The Holy Spirit has the ministry of revelation. So one of the assignments of the Holy Spirit is to reveal to believers the hidden truths and hidden mysteries of the kingdom. Because these mysteries are to our advantage. These mysteries are to our benefit. So the work of the Spirit is to reveal. And reveal the hidden mysteries and the kingdom truths that you need to power your life. Anabasa. In Grovaco, the Hanun Grandiza, Egalian Grandus, the Leliki Vratusa. The believer in Christ is not meant to live by miracles. The believer in Christ is meant to live by kingdom principles. And one of the assignments of the Holy Spirit is to reveal to you. That word reveal is the Greek word apocalypsis, which means the unveiling of hidden truths and hidden mysteries, secrets. So one of the assignments of the person of the Holy Spirit is to unveil kingdom truths that you need to be your advantage in these last days. That you need to, that, to empower you to get results superior to your skills and to your abilities and to your intellect. And there are kingdom mysteries that you need to power your business to get the kind of results people around you in that area cannot get. One of the assignments of the Holy Spirit is to reveal kingdom mysteries and is to reveal kingdom principles, spiritual principles that are meant to power your life as a believer. But be Beyond that also, one of the assignments of the Holy Spirit, when he takes on the ministry of revelation, is to reveal your divine purpose in Christ. So the Holy Spirit takes on the responsibility of the revelation or to reveal to you your divine purpose in Christ. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 2 from verse 9, the Bible says, For as it is written, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered into the imaginations of men what God has prepared for them that love him. But verse 10 declares, but it has been revealed. But God has revealed them unto us by who? By who? By who? By the Spirit. Why? Because for the Spirit searcheth all things. Yea, the deep things, the deep mysteries of the kingdom. So there are some things God has prepared for your life that you don't have a knowledge of yet. But the Bible says the Spirit is there to reveal them unto you. So there is a walk of revelation of the Spirit that gives you one of your greatest advantage. Because there are some things about you you don't know yet. There's what we call the hidden you. The you that is hidden to you. The you that you don't know. And the you that you are yet to meet. But there's a person of the Holy Spirit that takes on the rest Responsibility of revealing that you that gives you your greatest advantage because there's a you that you need to meet that you have not met yet. Hey, yeah, some live in the present, some people presently living are living in the past, while some people presently living are living in the future. The knowledge of the you that saturates your mind depends on where you live. So somebody has so much knowledge of the past and past mistakes that causes you constant grief whenever you wake up. And you are grieving about the mistakes of the past and the opportunities you lost in the past. And because of that, you are living in the past. But there's somebody that is living in the future. Every morning you wake up, the Holy Ghost sits you down and shows you the next five years and shows you the next six years and shows you how to download your future. For the believer that is led by the Spirit, we don't talk future because you live the future. For the believer that is led by the Spirit, you don't talk future. Because
because you live the future. So somebody is living the next five years in the present. Why? Because it has been revealed. And we say any future you cannot picture mentally, you cannot feature in it. So the work of the Holy Spirit is to paint mental pictures, is to paint and take on, on the canvas of your imaginations and begin to paint the picture of a better future and paint the picture of the next five years of you and the next ten years of you and you now notice something about that man something about that woman you begin to speak and act in a particular way that is not connected to your presence so sometimes you carry yourself in a particular way not because of where you live or because of what you have seen about yourself The work of revelation, the ministry of revelation of the Holy Spirit. So the challenge is, can it be revealed to you? Have you seen the you that you have not seen yet? There's a you that you need to meet. And there's something I said before now, because sometimes you are crying, oh God, I need contract. Oh God, I need husband. Oh God, I need this. Oh God, I need that. You know, the mystery, the things you are looking for are looking for you. Mm. I need a car. I need the, the things you are looking for are looking for you. But what they are looking for is not this you. They are looking for a better version of you. So what the Holy Ghost does is to reveal the you and prepares you and prepares you so much so that by the time you appear, you don't pray for them, you attract them. They gravitate towards you. At this point, you become a magnet. There are men that are money magnets. There are people that magnet things, not because they prayed, but because they have become that version of them that that thing is looking for. It's the work of the Holy Spirit to reveal the future and to reveal the purposes of God for your life and to reveal the you in you that you are not aware of.